Hi everyone, welcome back to PJ's Tech Class. In this video, you're going to learn how to use Rhino command to build this 60s inspired rocket charm. In this video, you're going to use the following command. First, we're going to use the revolve command and then from there to build a surface from a profile. Then we might need to use project the curve to the surface in order to cut a certain area out. Then we will blend the surface. That's how I get this really smooth surface. And then we will have some object to orient it on the surface so we can trim the window out. Then we'll do a lot of bowling difference and bowling unique work. So that's how we get this rocket. Let's get started. Before we build the model, I'm planning to print this charm in Shapeways. So let's go to the Shapeways website and take a look on some requirement. This is a sterling silver. Let's take a look on it. In the sterling silver, one thing we particularly wanted to know is what is the maximum bounding box and the minimum. So we cannot design anything smaller than this, which is only 2.4 millimeter. That's really small. But most importantly, we want to take a look on this, the, uh, the wall thickness. So it looked like everywhere is about 0.8 millimeter thick, then we should be safe. So we want to build something somewhere around 0.8 millimeter or larger than 0.8 millimeter. Okay, let's go back to the Rhino. I'm using Rhino um, small millimeter template to build this tutorial. And we kind of want to get an idea of how big that rocket is going to be. I don't want to be too big because it will be super expensive uh, because I'm planning to print them in silver. So roughly this is where the body is going to be. Okay, so first things we wanted to do is draw a curve. And that is the curve is going to be somewhere um, starting uh, at midpoint and I want to go ahead um, to draw something like this. So this is going to be our profile. Let's take a look on the perspective. They look like this. Okay. Uh, we actually don't need this one. I'm going to temporarily hide it. So this is going to be the body of the rocket and we are going to use the command that's living under the surface and it's called revolve okay it's going to ask you to select the profile curve and which is the one we draw and then make sure your all snap is on and endpoint is on so you can snap to the endpoint to the endpoint all right now it's asking you the degree so we always want to start with a zero and in this case, we want it all the way around. So we want to end it with 360, which is preset. If it is not, type it 360, enter. Then you will get the body like this. Okay. Now we have the body. Uh, this one look a little bit fatter. That's fine. I mean, it's a rocket, right? You need a lot of power. So um, that's building the arm. The rocket that I have has uh, in the demo, it looks like it has three legs. So, um, but you can make four legs if you want to. So let's start, let's make a four leg and, and see what's difference here. So first of all, I can build um, uh, or a sphere and um, starting with this sphere, something like this. And then I can use the gumball to drag it to make it bigger, smaller, whichever that you think the shape will fit. All right. Since I have a fat body, I might want to have a fat leg as well. Okay. So now I have this guy right here. Uh, 
my seams on the right side so just in case there's some blending issue later on I want to move it to the left side okay now let's take a look on the front view of course I want them to be in the angle I'm not sure this angle or that angle look good but I guess rocket they are in this kind of angle and I'm not a scientist so if I'm wrong I'm sorry but this is how our rocket will look like all right so the key is now is how we build the surface in between now this is somewhere we'll use the project so let's take a look on other view and I want to change everything into the ghost view all right so now we see all the rocket right there um, I'm going to use the oval and then with this oval I'm going to kind of create whatever size you think that will fit and then with on the right view we are going to use project project is living here under the icon the first one project curve so what we wanted to do is to pick the curve and enter and pick the surface which is the body it seems like nothing happened but if you look at a perspective you kind of see there's a curve on the body and we don't need this one over there we just kind of delete it and we're going to use this curve to trim a hole out of that body so let's go ahead to use a trim tool and this is our cutting object enter and then we want to click a hole there now let's go back to the right uh, front view actually this time and I will just want to simply to cut it out a surface by draw a line there and um, I'm gonna use the that curve to trim off the surface all right so now if we go back to the perspective we're going to see that both form they all have a hole okay and they are some sort of oval form so next let's go into the surface tool then we use blend surface and then we want to blend from this surface to that surface and you want to make sure that those two arrow is aligned and then pointing on the same direction once you hit enter then you're gonna have a two handle coming out you can kind of moving into curve that you like uh, either you can move it on those control point or you can move it on this slide bar okay uh, you have a choice to choose tangency curvature depends on which one you like it and then we can preview it and see if you really like that now notice that it giving you a little bit crossing surface that's not a good surface mean the curvature might be too much over there so we kind of need to move it down a little bit just in case you know the overlapping then that will creating the problem later for printing all right it looks much better now then we want to click ok now let's go ahead and join this feed there okay so this is one of the feed and then we want to look at the top view now we want to have this one and we want to rotate this guy using zero zero is the rotating center and we want to make sure on the command bar here copy equal yes all right holding the shift allow you to copy on every 90 degree and because we want to copy and rotate so we have all the feet there looking good Now one of the questions my students have the most is they have all the form ready and then they just want to select all of them and they hit boolean unit something is disappeared there's something wrong here if you end up with this kind of situation you have to know that what we are creating right here they all surface the boolean tool is only happen for the solid okay so what we need to do on this one is we need to use 
this, this, and all the feet as our cutting object. And we want to trim off. We can zoom in and to trim off the surface by zooming in. So we can trim the things off. And we're going to rotate it, zooming again to trim. Oh, uh, that one is already trimmed. And we want to zoom in again to trim out this guy. So make sure all of them is trimmed. Once I have all of them is trimmed, I can go ahead and um, join them. So now they are a closed poly surface if you look at my property. So that's what we want. Okay, so now we have the body. It's about time to create a window. So here's how we're creating a window. I'm going to create a sphere. And then I'm going to do the sphere anywhere on the C plane. It can be like big or small, whichever size that you want it. And then I want to scale this down a little bit. So that will be my window. Seems a little bit big maybe a little bit smaller okay perfect now i'm going to the goal is to have this object and then we can orient it to the surface right there and then we can do the bowling difference okay so here's what i'm going to do we are going to use the commands called orient on the surface it's living under the transform orient on surface now it access to pick the object so this is will be our object hit enter and I want to snap to the center of it so I'm going to moving and snap to the center of it okay now I'm going to hold the shift and drag my cursor outside of the object click now it's asking us to pick on the surface I want to pick on this surface and then I want to click OK. Now you can put anywhere on the surface and since I want to be aligned so I want to make sure that it's snapping into this uh, curve that we had. Now we have the object here. Okay. Let me do a test and see how it goes. We want a bowling difference. So this is what we want to click keep. This is the cutting object. So you have a window approximately look like that. That looks okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back before I cut it. I wanted to have my window. It's actually on top of all four lake. So what we're going to do is go on the top view. The same we're going to use the rotate with the copy is on. So copy equal yes. I want to rotate this guy holding the shift. Going click, click, and click. So now we have all of them. Let's go back and look at the perspective. Now let's do the bowling difference. Second one on the bowling tool. You always click what you wanted to keep. Enter and you click your cutting tool. So we will have four window here. Right? Uh, you can do a little bit decoration by using the piping tool. And we're gonna pick up this guy and kind of roughly guessing uh, the pipe to be 0.5. So we're gonna have something like this. All right, looking good. Let's do all of them on all the window. And then right now we'll remember what you uh, click before. So if you just hit enter, it will repeating the same diameter that you have previously. Oops. Whenever it's at a seam, always be really careful if you are just gonna use the pipe and you're gonna pick up something here and it only do that certain section so there's a one thing that you need to do one extra click chain H and then you can click on the chain H and then you will do 0.5 so that you will have something like that okay let's go ahead uh, bowling everything together now we are ready for shape way printing uh, you can do a lot more decoration you like, but be really careful. We want an overall thickness, where especially where the neck area, because it's a, a 
more like consider as a wall, you want to be more than 0.8 millimeter to print in the shape way. All right. Now let's get ready to print. Let's make a mesh. Make it more polygon. You still really want a very detail, and then you want to pick up the mesh, and you want to export this mesh to anyway. But make sure you have it as a STL file. Rocket. Click OK. Then we can go to the shape way. I have already have one upload to my shop. All the tutorial, if it is printable at the shape way, I was putting my shop, and you can build your own and upload to, you know, to print. Or if you want to buy mine, you can come to my shop and take a look on what I have over there, and then um, you can choose all the material you like. All my video is post on my YouTube channel is PJ Chain Design and you can see uh, this the, some previous video and I have a lot more coming up so please subscribe my channel that way you can get the most update one thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon in my other video